Hola. <laughs> So uh, I'm here with Drew Crowder yes. of Hashtag Comics. Yes. And uh, you guys are publishing two books right now, Tail Wands and Carpet, no uh, Carpet Noctum. Carpet Noctum. Yep. So um, they're two very, very different books looking they at are. very different audiences. Um, so Tail Wands is your all ages book. Uh, what right. can you tell me about it? Well, Tail Wands is a steampunk fantasy set in a magical woodland run. It follows our main character, a young mouse named Kaya, as she begins her life and becomes magical. She becomes a Tail Wand in the first issue. You, and it's her adventures every book after that and uh, while we were talking before you told me about the really interesting uh, writing process that you guys had um, the way that you you wrote the first book and then kind of handed off the story tell me what that's been like it's been interesting um, so I wrote I wrote the first book and I had written the first books of a lot of different series that we that we have at, at hashtag comics but as soon as I, I wrote the first book and I started all the art, and because uh, I don't do the art, I, I have wonderful artists. I like Morgan, who's here signing today. Um, I had all of the, I had all of the book written, and then we needed more books, but I didn't have time. And so I picked someone that I thought had a very good writing style. Um, was very eager to help me out. Really liked the book, liked the story. And his name's Dustin Holifer. And uh, he was friends with my art director at the time, and so we got together and I said, all right, I'm going to steer, and but I want you to drive. And you can just take the story where you think it needs to go. I'm gonna sort of give you the plot points along the line that I want to hit. I need to, you know, the places where we go and that kind of thing. And he's done really, really well. Um, I, I, I really like his writing style. Um, the books tend to mature as we go, so it's, it's really interesting. Book one is really simple. Um, but they mature as far as reading level as we go along. It's not they don't mature in, in content, but the, the word there's, you know, we throw a few vocabulary words in there every once in a while. You'll have to get a dictionary or the, you know, or they'll, they'll ask their parents, hey mom, what does this mean? Um, so it's really, it's really fun. Uh, and the other, the other great thing that you mentioned is that it's available in libraries, uh, so children uh, right. at school libraries, right? School libraries, yes. Uh, we are available through Follett uh, Books into schools and libraries. They have 72,000 locations. So if it's not in your school or library, uh, ask them to get it. As long as it's a Follett book. If, it's, if you guys have Scholastic or Baker and Taylor, that's, you know, we're stuck. <laughs> and uh, uh, really quickly before we move on to the other book, um, I, I actually picked up uh, the Spanish version. So there's a Spanish version um, yes. if you want to use it to learn Spanish or um, if Spanish is your first language and you feel left out in comics in America, um, the art is amazing. So Thank so you. it's a great it's a great way to get started with comics if English is not your first language. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, we, we did, um, in schools and libraries, we actually had the book, the book one in Spanish, and I asked them, I said, hey, would you like us to do all of our books in Spanish? And they said, absolutely. Um, there's a big market for Spanish language books, especially in the sort of southern sides of the states, and Texaco, uh, Texaco, Texaco, Texas, New Mexico, right. California, Southern California, um, Arizona, that, you know, all those states in Florida, they all have a very heavy Spanish influence. Um, so yeah, they said absolutely, so we've got all of our kids' books available in Spanish. So Southwest, you're now known as Texaco, okay? Texaco. So um, behind <laughs> behind Drew here is a very, very different comic, uh, Carpet Noctum. That's our mature reader's book. And uh, also has a really crazy story. Uh, why don't you go ahead and give me your idea? Okay, the best way to pitch Carpe Noctum is that it is the real Las Vegas. Because um, as we all know, uh, everyone living or working in Vegas is either a vampire or a zombie or a werewolf or something in between. Uh, but it, it's, uh, it follows the supernatural world of Las Vegas. So uh, club owners um, that are vampires um, and, you know, the, the drug kingpin's a, a goblin and the strippers are werewolves and it's absolutely insane. Um, there's pandemonium everywhere, but if, if that was something that really existed, why don't we all know about it? Well, we have you covered because anytime something crazy happens or supernatural happens in any of these big cities where the supernaturals are, the auditors show up um, and they zap the memories out of everybody. But what they do is they put them into one specific person for each large city and they're called the scribe. 
and uh, our th that's actually our main character for the story. It's a girl. Her name's Chelsea Nobles, and she's really the main character of the book. So we follow her, and occasionally she'll get a lot of crazy, you know, monster memories put into her. Um, but it follows her and her relationship with the two main guys, uh, the two brothers, the Rivera brothers. It's really exciting. You forgot to mention one of the most important things in terms of uh, pop culture right now. Cthulhu's daughter is in it. Yes, we do have uh, <laughs> one of our main characters is dating Cthulhu's daughter. Uh, and uh, <laughs> the, the other really great thing is, is it. You know, it's a mature book, but it has a female protagonist, and that, that's something that, you know, you constantly see the female books are always canceled at Marvel, they're always canceled at DC, they say they can't sell. So, what do you say to that? But they're selling. Yeah, um, exactly. They, they so you've got to have more women as the main characters in your books. Absolutely. Um, and, you know, and Tail Ones also, our, our main character in Tail Ones, although she's not a woman, it is a female character. Um, or it is a girl mouse, right. um, and you know we have a female artist on the story, uh, so it, you know, we were very pro diversity in comics, and so you know we, I, I made sure to make sure that there were a lot of a lot of female influence in these books, and and uh, our our audience and our crowd has really supported us. In that. Cool. Well, thanks a lot for talking to us. Absolutely. Nice to meet you.